an episode of Victoria 2 Hard Darkness. If you guys did not know, we are back here at January 1st, 1878. We revert back to clock because, you know what? I did not see it like... I did not see it... Well, really, I don't know why I revert back to clock. So, yeah. Just we reverted back to clock. And we're now in January 1st, 1878. So, let us continue with our trying to beat the other people before they conquer the rest of Africa. For me, which would be really bad, because I want all of Africa. And right now, we are establishing and protecting it over over Korea, because right now Korea has no allies, and this is like the best time to strike. And the machine parts factory just collapsed. We're gonna close it. And lazy natives need to adapt. Alright. Ah oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh I'm f I feel like I'm forgetting something right now. Oh yeah! We had to build the Panama Canal again. The Panama Canal and the Suez Canal. Oh, and there's light in the Liberty. Has invented cheap steel. We're gonna have to wait a little bit. But gets the win wings of liberty, and we're gonna have to wait a little bit on those events. But yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Hmm, I'm kind of thinking of that. But now we have built the Suez and Panama Canal again, and I might have built it last time. Oh, now I remember why we built about the clock because I was declaring war on Korea. I got the Korea causes belly, got 18 infamy for it, and then when I then when I got into a turn crisis, I forgot that you couldn't like declare war doing it. So, I got messed over with that, and, um, yeah, I completely forgot about that. That was my mistake. Um, if I would, if I had remembered, I would have totally not have done that. What the heck? Rebels are starting to pop up again. Seems like there was a little, there's a movement I have to, like, enact. Okay, so how's our main, oh my, okay, okay, shoot, 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 shoot. Go right here. Oh no, our main capitals being assaulted by rebels, which I'm not going to let win. And apparently rebels have been gathering up in my country, so I'm going to look at this. They were apparently the most powerful, but who did, what did you guys want? Lower minimum wage? Okay. Minimum wage, got it. Now please despawn. Wait, no, you guys go right here. No, you guys go right there, then go right there. We need to quickly go support that army, and we need to go start... Mm, supporting our military again. Dang. Reactionary movements like this surprised me. I did not expect rebels to be this organized. And being able to crush my entire nation gains you props in my book. Okay. Let's do this. And who are these anyways? I don't even know. I can't let them win Paris. Well, now they aren't going to win Paris because now I got them completely surrounded. And you guys, yes, destroy units that just don't have anything in them. And, yes, we completely regained control of Paris. Now they will not be able to spawn, like, they won't be able to enact, like, big gigantic reforms onto us and make us, like, submit to their powers. And it's time to get back to colonial powerism. And, you know what, I'm just going to let myself lose there. Here, I'm going to try to invest into it. Here, I wish I had a little bit more so I could colonize that a little bit quicker. And... Yeah, seems like, yes, it seems like we put down this rebellion with minimal casualties and high population learning, and yeah. So anyways, people, we have to stop preparing for our invasion of Korea. So I'm going to move my troops down here, move my ships right over here. And yeah, we just have to stop preparing for the, like, big, when the time comes, that invasion, just that invasion. Because once that you know, comes, we're gonna have to be like, ninja style, neo matrix, wah, slow-mo, you know, we just got to be really quick with it, and, did that actually affect our, no, it didn't really kill us our industrial power that much, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad that when we have big gigantic revolutions, it doesn't like, kill us, and, we actually, France has recovered, really quickly, we have a steel factory not opening, I don't really care, and there's an internal crisis in, in Garcia, Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> this was 
Yeah, we know about this. This was the exact reason why I could not join the first time. Um, how close am I to war justification? Oh, I already have it? Okay. Well, just to make sure that I can't join this war. Um, declare war. Call in allies. There we go. Okay. That should expel me from the... Uh, yeah, that expelled me from joining their war. And now we are war with Korea, everyone! Yay! And we're still trying to fight in Africa. Even though my African my African colonies are just kind of like... Yeah, we, we see a lot of Americans every day. We see a lot of... Uh, you know, uh, Austrian-looking people. Austrian-looking folk. And we see a lot of... Uh, we see a lot of uh, engines. That was racist. But anyways, oh man, you know this is what happens. I'm I'm starting to, I'm starting to get to that point where you know you just like you you record so long that you're just not making sense anymore. I'm I'm starting to get to that point. And apparently, okay, let's go right there. I I don't know why we can't. Are these not steamers? Well, these are steamers, so... I'm trying to figure out why. Uh... There were six of you guys. Oh, apparently we already have somebody already on the ship, so... We'll actually go dark. Oh, shoot. I didn't even know we had some troops already on the ship. Ready to be deployed. And there's apparently a steel factory that collapsed, so where is it? Uh, hmm. all right. Close it. Continue with production. Okay. Anyways, uh, we're gonna use this army. I guess. I guess we'll just ignore that army and have it at some point come back home. But we're just we're just gonna take carry. We're gonna go send this army to go like take over the Korean the Korean Peninsula. Yeah. And you guys. Let me see if I can get diplomatic relationships with the Ottoman Empire. Increase relations. No, I, I need military access. No. If you guys give me this, they will not accept. Okay. That's bad. Okay, well, anyways, now that we kind of have a free moment here. Wait. Not necessarily a completely free moment, but a free moment nonetheless. Um, let me see. Is there anything, you know, let's start colonizing here. So I want to make sure that we have good representation right there. How are we doing in colonial power? Oh man, we're negative now. Anyways, I was thinking now that we're kind of like settling down. I think we, the United States has finally recovered from their hurt. So I think we should form an alliance with them again. So, yeah. Immediately, even after us rejecting America, they instantly say, yeah, let's get back into alliance. And... Uh, well, I can see they have a much bigger army. They've kind of readjusted their lives. You know, this is all good. This is all good to the cause. And I think they're now finally an ally worthy. In fact, America's kind of scary because it's like the power right below us. And, you know, us combined, like both of us combined, we make a pretty good team. I mean, they have like 114 military, and it's rapidly increasing. So, anyways... Has our ships arrived in Korea? No? Oh, Sardinia! Oh my goodness, my vassal Sardinia actually is doing something! Thank you, guys. Thank you. You just earned bonus points in my book. Like, I've never seen one of my vassals... Oh, who has a clipper shipyard? Seriously. I never want to be producing clippers, because they are, like, the worst thing to be producing. Okay, there it is. Clippers... Yeah, clippers are the worst thing to ever be producing in this economy because it's so quick. I mean, clippers become out of style so quick. Alright, get out this army. Land right there. So now, our invasion force will officially land and go start taking over Korea. Alright, now we're having some freezing. Whoa. Upper powers. Did, did the bourgeoisie lose? The Bonaparte? No, the Bonaparte party. Oh, it's still in power. Okay, let's get back our soldiers over here. Excellent. All right. So now that we have kind of a free moment, um, what are we gonna do? Well, are there any more internal crises in port in here? 
Hmm. Well, I would not be lying if I said I wouldn't like to join this again, but we honestly need more allies, if I must be honest with you. So what I'm going to try to do is, is, um, the greatest power here is, uh, hmm, you know what, England, England, England and I are finally going to, like, bury the hatchet and become friends. Because you know what? War between us and Korea, yes, I know. Because we need to make sure that if we're ever in political crises, because if you guys didn't notice, like, when we were going to be in war, uh, they were about to abandon us. So we need to make sure that in the future when we, like, when we, like, choose our allies, there'll be one of them. Okay, and we already have this region conquered. Man, I wish I could just send these guys on autopilot to just start, like, autopiloting this whole place. And we have some Koreans! They actually have a military! Oh my goodness, I so want to engage them. I so want to... Oh, shoot, now they actually have a big military. Well, oh! Well, let's go see if we can crush them all. Wait, we don't have gas masks yet, but... Oh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay! That wasn't even... Oh my goodness, that was just like a mass slaughter. I mean, we just, like, slaughtered their army to bits. They're not... Oh, and we collapsed them all into one place. Acquire stay against Paragus detected. All right, let's go back to Belgium. Okay, so apparently in that region, I really don't have to worry about any of my powers. Because it seems like, yep, yep, Korea's not, Korea just does not have the militaristic capabilities. And we have re speared the Belgians into our little tight-knit alliance. So now I feel really safe again. Because now there is no chance the Germans will actually... You know what? Scratch that. Because I was about to say we should be fearing the Germans, but the Germans aren't even that threatening anymore. And I'll deal with... Okay, let me increase the power right here. The UK. Yeah, me and UK are becoming buddies again. Or oh, we're becoming buddies the first time. And my people over here will conquer the rest of Watson, Wat Zhang, and then we're going to go back after this little troop right here. Because we basically won, but... You know, just to be sure that we automatically win this. I'm going to actually, with this army, going to go pick up the 12 guys over here. Because that actually is, that actually is kind of bugging me a little bit. Mm. Come on. So, okay, now they should be done. Okay, how are we doing in our colonial conquest? We lost. Well, that's very flat, right? Okay, and we're losing here. Well, guess what? I can fight you there. And we can't really do much else. Great. Well, at least we got this region over here. <laughs> okay. Army organization. Military. Let's do military logistics. Okay. We should have that region now. Okay. Yes, we do. Let's just go down and just start doing a massive, like, hit everyone. Go down and right here. Let's see if we can wipe them all out in one big, gigantic swoop. Well, they certainly are dying. That's for sure. Ah, oh, that's mean. Okay, and just follow them. We want to make sure that we crush the entire army. Yeah. And we're defenders. Oh, this is bad. Yep. Okay. And everyone, that was the epic battle with Korea. I hope it was as entertaining with me as it was with you. Because that was... Oh my goodness, that was, just a, that was just a slaughter. I mean, they didn't even have a chance. They, they were just... Okay. And apparently we just lost a new region. Hope it's not here. No, it isn't. Um, with that, I think I'm going to start colonizing. I think I'm just going to try to, like, abandon my hopes and efforts and just try to, like, control where I'm going to... Where I'm going to let Africa take and what I'm not going to let Africa take. Because I don't think I'll be able to control Africa and America anymore. They have... They, have, they were clever people. They kind of got in the back of me. So, I'm just going to start... I'm going to go conquer the capital right now before they start making any more troops. <sighs> Let Tom's, what are you going to say? Austria complete, Lusania complete, and we have two two army men thinking that they can destroy my mighty uh, European power army. All right. Oh, speaking of which, at the same time, I should be like um, preparing for some other nation to be conquest. Um, not Burma, not that, not that. Partly westernized. Yeah, no. Java, how is that? Partly west. Could I still do a protectorate over? I could. 
So even under partly westernized nations, I could probably establish a protectorate. Um, I might be thinking of Java just because I might get some more territory over here. I don't know. But actually, another nation I need to kind of like take over is Amino Dubai. So actually, let's start justifying a war against Amino. And wow, we have a lot of sphere nations. <laughs> uh, we, we're just that awesome. That's all I gotta say. And they have a horseman and a true. Korea, I, I, I really I, I really applaud your bravery. Like, get it, everyone, give Korea a hand for their bravery. All right, and now let's get back to peace relationships with them. Okay. But seriously, you guys don't know who you guys are messing with. So, just, yeah, just army swing by, kill the rest of them. Uh, they all hide, and now they're trying to all group up. Okay. So, in how many days does it take us? Wow. Less than a day, we destroy the entire Korean army again. And Sweden is a... Oh, man. I know what's happening here. Russia. Russia is trying to, like, disadd Sweden from the sphere, but... <sighs> Sorry, Russia. That's mine. They are officially mine. And is Luxembourg a part of my sphere? Yeah, they are. So I can stop, like, fighting them so hard. Belgium is a part of my sphere. Yeah, we, we have just a lot of sphere nations. Anyways, yeah, these... Sweden is a part of our sphere. I said I would fight to the Swedish cards. And Sahara, I'm guessing, is right here. Yep. We're losing. Yeah, it seems like... It seems like America just went crazy and... Yeah, we're just gonna have to withdraw. There's not much we can there's not much we can really do anymore i mean 5.3 infamy for that dang all right so once we get that we'll once we do once we get those points i'll declare war and we'll gain that okay let tomps paraguay known complete the prices rise okay let's just keep conquering more of korea as more of our allies our true allies arrive to come help us and you know what since no one has done this, I don't know why no one has done this, but I'll finally do the Valley of the Kings. Because no one else has done this, and you know what? I feel like I've given everyone enough chances to, like, do that event. I'll just do it for myself. Okay. And once we... Let's see. War justifications, Amina Dubai, and a couple turns. In a couple turns, we'll be able to go in and go conquer that state. And oh my goodness, even Sweden... What are you talking about? Even Sweden's helping us out. Dang. Yeah, Korea must be feeling like... Uh, they must be feeling so bad right now. I mean, there's not much they could really do. I mean, I have them. They're basically within my grasp. And back to giving, becoming buddy buddies with UK. Yeah, seems like we'll become buddy buddies with UK in a couple years, but... Seems like my African plans were ruined, everyone. Uh, but, you know what? I got a lot of important places, and I am going to conquer the Santo Caliphate. So, yeah, this is... Oh, come on, America. Can I just have one? You don't need everything. You don't need to be a monster blob and take over everything. I mean, you guys are going to be fighting it over out over here. I mean, you guys... Seriously, you guys have even... Finish off with that little part of, ter of territory right there. Uh, okay. When am I going to have to, like, declare war again? Uh, 1880. What year? December. Okay, I have an entire year before I have to do anything. And newspapers. Newspapers. Yeah. Newspapers. Newspapers. Okay. Bali. Oh my goodness, I have so many troops over here. And there's actually now a button, if you guys didn't know, that you could actually, like, request military, military access. So I could... Let's just do that. Because I don't really need it, but... Uh, there's actually a button now where you can actually, uh... Take control of the other people's military. You know, just like in Hearts of Iron. So now we could actually, like, control the military and make them do what we want to do. Instead of what they want to do. Which is, I think, really quite nice. Ah. Uh. We just have to wait. Okay, rock me in like cradle. Let's go up here. Kaboom. Kaboom. Okay, militaristics. Okay. Um, we're getting a little bit. We're, we're lagging behind a little bit in our in our military. I mean, our ships. So I'll come back up to that. 
And Korea, are you? Yes! Oh! What? <laughs> what? <gasps> oh, look at that, everyone. Look at that. We now have French Korea, which should, in essence, increase our diplomatic relationships a lot. And as... Oh, my goodness. See? Okay, that makes no sense. So you guys fought me so hard for this land, and now you guys just lost it all. That really makes sense, people. That really makes sense, uh, Austria. That really makes sense. But anyways, oh my goodness, that feels like a good ending point. <laughs> this was a good episode. We call good Korea. We have our goals set out in the future where I think, I think next episode, I think I'm going to update what I'm going to do and what I'm going to plan to do. And, yeah, be prepared for that, everyone. Be prepared for the awesome, awesome reversion of my map and what I'm going to do. And I'll see you guys next time. Ah, salut, everyone, and welcome back to the, probably the final episode I'm going to do tonight. And while I was promising a new map mode, I was just kind of realizing, hey, this is, the map mode I still have is still kind of good. So, yeah, I'm still going to use it. So, immediately off the bat, we'll, so what we have to do, we have to first collapse the uh, factory I have right here. Let me go right here. And right now, Frances is in kind of a peaceful era. You know, we have had some of the most relaxing times in a very, very, very long, long time. But there's one thing we do have to do, and that is to... Uh, The Tomps. Sorry, people. I'm still trying to, like... Mm, still trying to recover from last episode. Because if you guys remember from last episode, we took over Korea, and then Austria just, like, released all of its, like, land. Mm. Oh, man. I really needed that water. Alright. And right now, Austria's just been kind of a witch to me. And I'm actually, yeah, I'm just going to withdraw because I'm going to concentrate on beating the uh, Americans here. Because I seriously don't want them to conquer anything over here. But anyways, yeah, another internal crisis is brewing. <laughs> and this is for the Polish independence. Um, okay, we're back in this situation again. And I will support it this time. I'm just not going to be the main person to support it. So I think that'd be kind of stupid. Like, really stupid. Because I already know I'm either going to go up against Russia. Or I'm going to go up against Austria. Which either way is going to kill me. So, let me just also increase relationships with UK. Making sure that our relationship is really fine and dandy. And yes, we are interested in this crisis. Alright, lazy natives need to learn how to adapt. Uh, the Santo... War between the U.S. Ah, oh, dang it, did the U.S.A. jump on my... Oh, no, they're just cutting down the size of Santo. Okay. I thought they were... Okay. That, that scared me for a little bit. Because I thought they were actually going to, uh, you know, establish protectorate over them. But anyways, um... Ah, oh, dang, that means... Wait a minute, that means we can't actually join any of the crisis. I mean, we can't actually join any wars right now, so... Okay, so that means our Amino Dubai, sadly, you guys are saved from us actually declaring war on you. Because right now we have to deal with an internal crisis. So, right now we're trying to get a little bit of Garcia free from, from, from Austria. And I seriously want to do this. So, I'm seriously, I seriously think my army is now ready. Um, I'm going to start my own little recruitment again in Europe. Two, four, five. Uh, not in Africa. Not in Africa. Uh, not in Asia. Oh, sh okay. Let's get to Europe. There we go. Europe. Get two more men. Get two troops and a couple cavalry from Europe, not from Asia. I'm not ready to start making Asian troops. Okay. And we're gonna be prepared for when the crisis breaks down, and we're gonna have to fight. But. Anyways, it seems like Prescott's going through tough times right now. Um, they, they originally were uh, not 
They originally were really reactionary anarchists. Now they have become communist. Uh, Prussia, Prussia can just not get it together after our war. All right. And right now I'm going to be looking at all the situations. Um, it seems like if we were to do this war, we would most likely be the only ones in it. But, you know, I'll support this side. Because then that maybe will turn some heads. Ah, uh, dang. Russia joined that side. Come on, UK. Uh, moralism. Okay. Um, is there any way... Come on, UK, do you guys like us? Dang, no, it doesn't matter. Political considerations, um, ally. Hmm. See, I don't get the political considerations part. Shouldn't you guys be on my... No. Guess not. It's not. The only... I kind of have a question of why isn't America joining in, but... Anyways, I've, I've put this war off for so long, you know, I'm finally ready for it. I'm finally ready to accept me either dying, dying here like a hero, or, for heaven forbid, achieving excellence. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, I'm going to start form, how, why can't I form an alliance with you guys? Too many, you're in my sphere, though. Okay, I'm going to have to look at all my allies here. Switzerland, we guys form alliance, they will accept. Okay. Spain, they will accept. Because what I'm going to do is if I do have to go to war, I'm going to call in as many allies as I can to help me fight against the, uh, the, uh, what is it called? They will accept. Yeah, there shouldn't be a great power yet. Luxembourg, Brazil. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can add him a great power. But anyways... If that does, if they do, if I start to actually fight them again, I'm going to make sure I have a good list of a whole bunch of alliances that will help me out. And I'm going to start like, oh, man, this this is really nerve-wracking because we never, uh, France has never really had an all-out war. We've had wars before, but we've never had an all-out war. And right now, I, I was afraid of that happening. So, we're going to be dealing with the biggest powers in this game. Um, oh, man, this is... The only chance we might have is if... Is if uh, Sicily... If the two Sicilies remembers... Remembers its uh, independence movement before and decides, hey, we should do this. Let me see. Yes! Okay. This is good. This actually means we have a chance. Because with this, that means the powers are equal. Well, maybe not equal, but the Ottomans accepted the crisis off. Well, that was lame. I was actually getting really ramped up for, like, starting a big gigantic war and fighting. And, I mean, I had my troops all ready to go, like, start conquering. And actually, with this crisis, I think we still got a little bit of time. Yeah, we still got a little bit of time to do this. So, apparently we don't actually get to do the crisis mode diplomatic, but we do get to do this war, which, now I get to pull in all my allies. <laughs> oh, no. I, I won't pull in any of my allies, because this war is just going to be way too quick. So, let's do that. Let's see, is any... No, no one from Amino Dubai's side decide to join him in this war. I mean, no, no, like, I... I don't feel blame them or blame them at all. I mean, I would never join like this losing side. This is just, this is gonna be a slaughter. Okay, and right here, I'm trying to make sure that I conquer this entire coast, and I'm gonna already start. Ah, oh, dang! Excellent. Hey, why am I in such a good relationship with the Santo Calipate? I should not. Ah, uh, okay, that should not be happening. And Papel states. Are we finally about to become my... No. Cordial. Yeah. The Italians are slowly starting to beat me out of this region. And I'm slowly having to give up stuff. And whoa! Okay. Talk about... Talk about uh, dedication, everyone. These two are just fighting it out. They're not going to give up. Oh, wow. War between Amino Dubai and me. Okay. And Gabion can become a colony. I don't know what Gabion is. And I didn't know that you could colonize right there. That's a new one for me. Alright. Alright. 
Oh my goodness. So apparently the new strategy with this game is to is to just take over as much as you can and then and then start worrying about other stuff. Man. I really should have this was all my fault by the way, people. If you're wondering what happened, this was all my fault. I should have realized how this new colonial system worked. Um, I should have maybe looked into it a little bit more, but um, I thought I had a good grasp on it, and I you know I thought I could like, you know, go through it and pretty much annihilate everyone. But apparently not. The uh, Austrian, the Austrian principality, I can't believe has formed. That's, I mean, there's a lot of things in this game that just surprise me so much. I think that's one of them. And right here we're losing, but I'm not. This is this is where I'm really investing all my points in. Like, this is where I'm going to concentrate all my efforts in. Even if the Austrians do beat me, uh, I'm still... Actually, Austria's catching up pretty quickly. Um, I was about to say, I'm still ahead of Austria, but then I just realized they're catching up pretty quickly. And apparently, I went back to laissez-faire bourgeoisie. I'm sorry. I just don't like the laissez For France... Oh, speaking of which, this is actually a good tip for any new player. For France, never become a laissez-faire. Laissez-faire is like the worst government for France. Um, because it does not actually grow your factories, it just makes them even weaker. So, your best bet would be to, your best bet would be to just stick with, uh, to just stick with interventionism or become a communist. Those are like the two best, like, systems of government that will help you form everything. So, yeah. Little tip from James, and beliefs must be predicted. And I honestly don't think I have a sinking suspicion that the Austrian Principelli will not live long. Like, I'm only because it seems like they <laughs> only because it seems like it wouldn't be that hard to like stir up rebels and to stir up a big gigantic population boost. Obviously, we must take pride in this publication. No. <laughs> No, we do not take pride in any kind of thing that's harmful to our, a good conservative agenda. Naval speed. But yeah. Whatever I was just saying, yeah. Nine. <laughs> and I'm still... Okay. Okay. Hmm. And, if you guys did not hear, that was my mom, she just walked in, and we just had a silent conversation, where you guys could not hear in the wind. Okay, ladies and ladies need to adapt. Propel states, you know what, I might actually give up on propel states and just let the, uh, let Italy have it, I mean, two Sicilies have it, but, then again, what would be the fun in that? And, how are we doing in Amino? Okay. I think we're I think we're almost about done. I'm just not paying attention enough to this war to like to like figure it out. Mm-hmm. We almost have a wow, we almost have twenty million population. And Dagamoni will actually will lose. I might just accept the loss. Because at this point at this point, colonialism in America in this region isn't really my top priority anymore. Conquering conquering the Santo Caliphate though is because this is actually how unfortunate. Mm hmm Conquering the Santo Caliphate is actually pretty important, so we can make Gibeon a state. Where is Gibeon? I have no clue. I can't believe they, these guys are so dedicated to this region. They will really not give up either way. And it's kind of like really motivating to know that these guys are that dedicated, but kind of scares me because that means the computer will never back down. And if I ever want to, ladies and need to adapt. If I ever want to take over those regions, it's going to be extremely hard. Okay, we we'll go to diplomacy, increase relations. Okay, yes. Okay, so now next turn we can start like doing a uh, causes belly against them, which will be good. And did we lose? Yeah, we lost. So now we can just like relax and let America and Austria claim the rest of this states. And 
Uh, we're almost there. The beliefs must be respected. You know, I think I've kept that. I think I've kept that statement throughout this entire time. Is the beliefs must be respected, and I, as I said before, firmly believe in that. And uh, just a little bit more, and Amino Dubai will be ours. <laughs> uh, and we're going bankrupt again. But we still. Good thing we have a couple. We have a couple big army and um, banks. Oh, and actually saved us. Yes. Okay, how much does, does our economy recover? Not quite. Well, that's because we have to, like, support our military. Alright, there we go. Alright. So we just have to do that. And now, so we have to close down this factory. Close down this factory. Get down to 10 days. Finish up with that. Close down one more. Ah, pause. Close down a lot of factories. Why? I don't know. I guess we just had a big market crash or something. Uh, close down. Close down. Uh, close down. And, okay, nothing should be built here. I keep telling people. I keep telling them. I, should, I really wish there was like an anti no nothing build there button. But anyways, people, we've officially finished up with our. Uh, next invasion of Mio Dubai and actually this episode I'll show you guys what we'll be doing next we'll be doing the uh, conquest of uh, of Santo uh, actually uh, I thought I could just like sphere these guys but these guys are gonna take a little bit uh, maybe actually maybe I'll just go after Egypt or maybe maybe I'll go after Denam <laughs> you know kind of do the historic route of what of what uh French actually did. The French actually did. I don't know. But next episode people, look forward to something amazing. And I see you guys next time. And oh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Now see you guys next time.